Hey guys, I'm Sean Calloway and I'm the new product development manager here at Anzo USA. And today behind me, you can see we have a 21 and up F-150. Installed on here is our brand new full LED headlights for them. And as you can see, they are available in black with the crystal clear lens. We have our styling that goes along the top edge here and through the middle. And that's gonna be your initiation feature, your turn signal and your running light. Uh, here through the center, we have our four projectors. As you can see right here, the high beams are on. When you have low beam activated, it's just gonna be these three right here. Then we have our running light marker with the uh, reflector on it right here on the side. Now, we do have one more feature built into this. And on the back side where the low beam is, the cover, there's a little switch. It's, a, it's labeled amber and white. So if you have it in the white mode, it's gonna look like this. If you have it in the amber mode, after it goes through the initiation feature process, it, this bar right here will flip to amber. So during the daytime, whenever your parking lights are on, it's always gonna be amber for those of you who want that, I guess, more OE look, um, but in an aftermarket light. So let's go ahead and I'll walk you through the process of taking off all the stock components and installing these new headlights. Tools needed, a fork tool, a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchet, a 10 millimeter, an eight millimeter, a seven millimeter, and an extension. Okay, so in order to remove the stock headlights, in order to put the new ones in, we're gonna need to remove this top cover here. We'll need to remove this lower balance from underneath the headlight here. And then lastly, we'll remove the grill in order to get the headlights out. So in order to remove this, there's 14 tabs in here and you can use your fork tool or a small flat blade screwdriver works too as well. There's a little notch right in here. Slide that in and then slide it underneath the bottom piece and you can go ahead and just pull this right out just like this. And you wanna do that for all 14 and then set these off to the side so you don't lose them. The next piece to come off after we have this top cover is gonna be this lower valance right here. And you have two seven millimeter screws or bolts located right in there. And you just remove those on both sides. Once you have those taken out, you just grab in right behind here and pop this panel out. So once you have it popped out, you're gonna to wanna to walk it around just like this. So just be careful. And you can walk it all the way around and get this side I'm done here, just like that. And set this off to the side. Okay, so once we've got the lower balance off, the next portion we're gonna have to take off is the grill. So we've got four 10 millimeter bolts here across the top. And then we have one eight millimeter on either side of this lower corner of the grill. So we'll pull those out so we can get this out of here. Now, once, you're, once you have all the bolts removed, you're gonna need to unplug the harnesses right here. There's two of them. One's easy to get to, another one is down a little bit, so you'll probably have to use a flat blade screwdriver to push in the tab and pull the harness out. So now we've got all the bolts out of the grill. We've got our harness disconnected. All you're gonna need to do is you can just go ahead and grab here in the center, or whichever style grill that you have, just find a spot that you can actually grab onto. And you can release this a little bit from the top, just like that. Grab right here, and we'll pull this out and you wanna kind of pull out and shimmy just a little and it'll come right out. And now we can set this off to the side and get the headlight out. Okay, so we've got everything off the vehicle. Now we can go ahead and move on to the headlights. In order to get the headlight out, we have to remove two 10 millimeter bolts up here, a small push tab here on the corner. Then we have an eight millimeter bolt right here. And then right here, straight back, you can see it right here through this side right here, we have a 10 millimeter nut. Once we have those removed, we can go ahead and remove the headlight. Okay, so we've got all the bolts out of this headlight. Now we can just go ahead and remove it. So all you're gonna wanna do is grab right here on the bottom, and just kinda move it around like that to get it out of here. And then you have three connections on the back side that you need to unhook. You just push the tabs in and slide them out. Sometimes, you have to push in on the connector and then release the tab in order to get the slide out. But the stock lights out. Now we can go ahead and start installing the new one. Okay, so now we're ready to put in our new headlight, but there's one decision we have to make first. Do we want this outer trim 
to have a dual function to where it's a running light white and then amber for turn signals? Or would you prefer it to have just amber? We've built that into the headlight to where if you turn it right over here on the back side, right here, let me turn this closer, right here, it's labeled white and amber. So if you want it to just light up amber, you want to push down right here and make sure that button inside is toggled to the top. If you want the dual function, you push down right here where it says white, and now that'll have the dual function. And then before you get in your driver's side, you're going to want to run your harness that's included in the package. This one will plug right here into the single bullet connector, just like this. And we ran it all along the top right here and then ran it behind the passenger headlight and up to the battery. So we'll connect that after we have the headlights all installed and everything back together. So let's go ahead and get these rest of these connectors plugged in and these all plug right in just like your OEMs did. Once you plug them in, you'll hear them snap just like that. So now we can slide this in and you want to get this bottom part behind the plastic piece right here and just slide it in. So this bottom piece will line up along this pin where we took the nut off. And then here on the corner, you just want to pop the body locator pin into the body. And now we can replace the screws and then get everything else put back together. Okay, so we've got the whole vehicle back together. New headlights are in. The last thing that we're gonna need, one of the last things that we're gonna need to do is hook up the harness to the battery for the headlights. And that's for the initiation feature. So over here, it's fairly simple. You're gonna have black to negative and then red to positive. And these are 10 millimeter bolts. So you have one right here and one right here on the positive post. And once those are hooked up, that feature will be active on the headlights. And that'll just take your simple hand tools right there. Next, what we're gonna do this is the very last thing before we get to actually see everything and how it works is adjust the headlights right here at the top is the adjuster on the back of the headlight, just like OEM. So for that, you'll need your Phillips screwdriver and it literally goes just right here and you'll spin it left or right, whether you need the beam to come up or down. The best way is to park on a flat surface about 20 to 25 feet away from the wall and then bring the beams up to where you want them, usually in the three foot range. Now, if you prepared for that ahead of time, you could have marked off the OEM lights on your garage door or wall, wherever your workspace is at, and then match these as far as adjusting them right to your OEM lights, and then you should be good to go. So once all that's done, we can go ahead and close the hood and we can check out the initiation feature actually right now. And that is to make sure it's locked. And then on unlock, you'll see that it goes through everything. And this is what you see in the parking lot when you're walking up to your vehicle and you unlock it. So you see it went through the amber phase and then stays on the white. Now, if you chose to switch this to the amber, what the only difference on this initiation phase is gonna be is when it flips over to the last white phase, it's gonna stay amber instead of white. You will still see the white come on during the initiation, even if you switch the switch to amber, because that's just going to be your running light. So your full-time light will be amber for this light to light up, not during initiation at all. So let's go ahead and roll through all the features and enjoy your lights. <laughs>